Ah, uh, Joey Moss with Bad Boy MTG. Thanks for tuning in, ninjas. We're going to get up into this. I took a little hiatus, but I am back and back in the swing of things. So to start things off, um, last week on the channel, I said I just want my fans, please go ahead. Tell me, do you like or dislike Magic the Gathering Walmart MTG cubes? Tell me why. What do you like about them? What do you hate about them? Whatever. I was going to pick one person at random. I also did that with Patreon. So my patrons did the same thing, and I'm going to pick one person at random also. I have an eight-sided dice. These are the seven that I picked up. So we're just going to keep on spinning. There's no seven-side die. Is there a seven-side die? If there is, I'm not aware of it. So we're going to mix it up uh, that way. All the cubes that I did get from those 14 Walmart locations, what a journey that was. Um, if you haven't seen that kind of documentary, go back a few videos, and uh, it's certainly there. But, man, really, really cool. I feel myself basically just going Walmart to Walmart. And you can see I start getting a little tired by the end of it. It's like 10 hours and all 300 miles drove. Oh, my goodness. All right, so without any more further BS, let's get up into Crack and Cap'n. So how we're going to do this, I guess we kind of just line them all up, perhaps. I don't know. You guys are witnessing whatever I'm witnessing here. Uh, it's all going to be rando. Maybe go four on top, three on bottom. We'll do it like that, okay? So the first person, um, they said, this is a fan. A uh, fan said his name is... Tony, Tony, six days ago, Tony said, the cubes are great when you can find them. I always enjoy just cracking packs. And he made a really good point. When you can find them, they're great. And even then, they could be really terrible at the same time. <laughs> because you could pull something like an all-land pack. But once a year, I keep telling people this, but I feel like no one listens when I talk. Like maybe I talk too much. Makes sense. But once a year, MJ Holdings will drop... Uh, a good drop and these cubes then have like some commander decks in them hidden you know um people were going out weighing them i don't know who those crazies are but they're out there and if you weighed so much you know you would find a commander deck inside you know the junk of the other cubes so there was like maybe two if they distributed six or eight you know you might find two or three of those kind of commander decks well they changed it up yet again and this time it's all commander decks which I thought was really cool. So I had to venture out and try to find more of them uh, so I can give some out to you guys because a lot of you can't get your hands on these, and um, that is a shame. But also, at the same token, not always because they can have junk in them. So this one's for you, Tony. Tony, appreciate you commenting, man. Let's roll it up, see which one. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's no eight. Oh, well. We got lucky number five. One, two, three, four, five. Tony gets lucky number five. Hooray. I'm just going to mark his name on here real quick. I have the, the memory of a fish. So here you go. Big old Tony. Bada bing. Tony's up in there. Okay, that one's going aside. Then we're going to do one more. And this one was for a patron. And the uh, same question was asked to my patrons. Just a smaller pool. And um, the person who responded was Eric Cook. He said, I like the idea, but never seem to have the luck with these. Exactly. Um, if you're a patron of the channel, you probably have gone out and tried to find these cubes. And you've probably been wrecked many times over. There's a lot of little things you got to pay attention to in my videos when I talk about the cubes, because I only mention them maybe once or twice, as in for like the weight, for example, if it weighs a certain amount, you know, if it's heavier than the other ones, you probably got a commander deck. But even then they changed that up last year and the ones that weighed heavier, uh, they just made it like weigh as much as a commander deck and they had junk in them anyway. Not always junk, not always junk. You can get your value back out of them sometimes, but seldom, okay? And then you have the luck where you get commander decks. Anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's roll it up. This is for you, Eric Cook. Eight does not count. We're just going to roll it again. Two. Did that show up on there? Do, 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 do. We see two. There's two. Okay. So lucky number two. That's going to be this guy from Mr. Eric Cook. Eric Cook. Hooray. Okay. I'm going to crack one for myself. And that leaves me with... Four more to go. I guess I'll do the top left one. It's the one left over. All right. Let's see what we get inside of these. $35. You can find them in your local Walmart stores. Um, not all of them, though. I feel like they have to be a super, super center Walmart, I think they call them. This is for me, right? Yes. Eric's over here. Tony's over here. Okay. So this one's mine. We'll see what we get. And I'll open more of these as time goes on. I still didn't uh, drop the other videos of the first bunch I got. <clears throat> we'll see what's in those ones. Okay. Ooh, pull this back. I'm not going to reveal this cookie. 
Oh, it's a little loosey-goosey, huh? And you get two booster packs. So, so far, the pools in these booster packs have just been atrocious. Can we beat the crappy pools is the question. So, Ixalan's our first one. Give me a Carnage Tyrant. We'll call it a freaking day, Billy. Give me a Carnage Tyrant and call it a day. All right, see what we got here. See what we got. I, I still like to hear your guys' stories about cubes. How badly burned have you gotten from these? How many stores did you go to? Did you find any? All that good stuff. Which ones did you pull? Sword Point Diplomacy. I think that's not a terrible card, if I'm not mistaken. You know, nothing too spectacular, but cool. Island and a Foil Swamp. When well, they didn't mass produce foils of everything. So that's a plus, I think. I don't know. Then we have Corset 2019, and then what we're all waiting for. What's inside the box? Oh my god. Ah, this guy. He tormented me for two years solid. It was an amazing time. It was, it's a great time to be alive, guys. It really is. Especially with everything opening back up. Now, enough said. Psychic corrosion. We got sleep. Engineer. What's gonna be? Ooh! Vevictus Esmati, the dire. Really cool. Elder Dragon uh, Legends, as you guys know, have slowly been ticking up in value because they're dropping a bunch more new Elder Dragons. And there's a lot of hype around them, so that's kind of cool. And an emblem. Why are there so many of these emblems? I opened, I want to say, three or four cubes, and I pulled a foil of Johnny, a non-foil of Johnny, and then I pulled, like, three emblems already. I think three. Pretty crazy. All right, so that was mine. Let's see what else. This is some value. There's some other value in the common slot, but I'm just going to move stuff out the way. Okay, pretty cool, though. It was nice to pull an Elder Dragon Legend. Oh, boy. What do we got here? Come on, we some juicy. Oh, Astrid the Mast. I used that in a thumbnail once. Very, very cool deck, without a doubt. Um, I'm going to go through this one for the heck of it. Let's see what we get here. And I don't recall pulling uh, this yet. I'm just going to cut the deck in half. Bada bing. So there you go. You get this beautiful, gorgeous, shiny foil card here. Estrid. Along with the Cultivator. With the Bestow on it. People say Bestow is just like this other ability that came out recently. Can't think of the name of it, but nonetheless, there you have it. And then we have Tuvasa the Sunlit. Something I did say in one of my videos um, last week was I thought I was missing cards from the decks. Um, like they took out some rares or mythics. No, they have not. Um, that's been verified by other people who have went out and purchased these, and they say, yeah, nothing's missing. I guess the one commander deck I opened, it just was a little light. Like light as in the rare and mythic slot. There wasn't a whole lot of rare and mythics compared to some of the other commander decks that are out there. And that threw me off, and I just got to assuming. And we know what happens when we assume. That's right. I make an ass out of you and me. That's true. Okay, moving along. So a whole bunch of commons and uncommons up in the front. Some some good, some not so good, some um, some terrible. No one plays this card. Like I've never seen anyone use Soul Ring before, especially in Commander. Has no business there. All right, then we got the rares and mythics. So Imperial Storm, Heavenly Blade Master, beautiful. Okay, Astrid's Invocation. I just like the art on magic. They do a great job. Watching Threshold. Octopus Umbra. I think the one we just opened is a decent one. I can't be certain, but I think it's more of the decent ones. Maybe like 50 bucks, maybe? I don't know. Myth Unbound. Nilia's Colossus. I was disappointed with the most recent Nilia uh, God card. I know. It's sad. Sad times. Uh, that was probably six months ago. Ravenous Slime. Oh, the Slumbering Isle. And they just reprinted this one. The only way you can get this was in this Commander deck until the reprint. So there's that. Was that Double Masters that they did that? Or was that Commander Legends? It might have been Commander Legends. I'm not positive. Hydra Omnivore. There you go. A mythic uh, Hydra. Light of Alabaster. Gorgeous thought there right there. Mm -hmm. A Johnny's Chosen. So we have, what, two mythics there? Celestial Archon, sure. Just always blown away by the number of rares and mythics they throw in here because if you're used to just going out like me and picking up some booster packs or booster boxes or whatever, you're only going to get one, sometimes two rare mythics if you got a foil. Now they have packs where it's almost like all rare and mythics, you know, but it's all foiled out. Just the times have really changed, you know, when it comes to playing Magic the Gathering. And um, I, I like to think change is good, you know, I, if I like to think that way. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna keep thinking that way. 
and uh, we'll see um, how things turn out in a few years, value-wise on cards, and just the, uh, the state of the game at that point, you know, years down the road. So I'll get back to you guys on that one. Ground Seal, Herald of Pantheon, Spawning Grounds, Cool-Eyed Selkie. There you go. Daxos. I don't know what it is about this one. It seems so plain. I get it. Average guy. Got some longer hair. Tatted it up a little bit. No shirt on. Swinging his blade. Elderwood Scion. I wonder what he's swinging at. Finest Hour. Mm -hmm. Righteous Authority. And Mothwork Bridge. Very fitting. Thank you. All right. And I think we just close it out with a bunch of regular... Yeah. Just common, uncommon. Nothing too spectacular here. Okay. So let's get into the other two the two that you guys are going to be taking home the two that you guys are going to be taking home um do i have a lid for this guy probably not around here let's just strap this puppy in it's going on the shelf i have a shelf for just all my commander stuff i finally got organized uh friend came over and started helping me with stuff so that's pretty slick uh this is eric cook so we're gonna go eric cook first to see what he gets i hate when i see this i really do i don't even know I didn't attempt to do it, but I wonder if you can see what's inside of there. I think because the commander deck's so thick, it might be a little more difficult, but I think if you like really banged it around, which a lot of people in Walmart do, then you could eventually <coughs> see what's in there. But all I knew is it had guaranteed commander deck, so I'm cracking it open no matter what. All right, I don't want to beat up your deck too much, so <laughs> that sounded terrible. All right, so I'm just going to open it up. Uh, this is Eric... Eric Cook, bada bang. Eric Cook, appreciate you as a patron, my dude. Thanks for commenting, and this is what you're going to get. This is what you're going to get, my friend. We're going to keep this down. Shwink. This is up. This is up. Let's start with these two puppies. Play something juicy. Corset 2019. Let's get a big hit out of one of these. Something big. And no tormenting voice. That's how I... Son of a biscuit! All right, tormenting voice back again. I cannot escape that from 2019. <laughs> it just keeps coming back. Dragon Egg, Fountain of Renewal, Drake, and Dragon's Horde. Dragon's Horde's not a bad card. That's solid. I wish they would have done a little bit more with this, but still, it's not a bad card. It's not a bad card. Oh, and a foil. Uh, rare. Prodigious Growth. Not bad. Enchant Creature. Enchant Creature gets plus seven, plus seven, has Trample. Not a very sought-after card, but nonetheless, it's yours, my friend. Just for being a patron. There you go. And up inside of here, whoosh, boom. we got New Horizons. Ooh, these feel a little different, like smoothie. Like a smoothie. I need a smoothie right now, actually. I might actually make a smoothie after this. River Sneak. There you go. With a stampede. Pillage. Fathom Fleet Captain. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Island and a Vampire Token. Is that a telling sign? Let's find out. Uh, sure, you can go over here. You don't belong over there. You go over here. I really sincerely hope down the road the Falcon Wrath ends up uh, being worth a pretty penny. I sincerely do. I sincerely do. Um, I think this one is one of the less expensive ones. I think it's going for like $30. I've opened it once, maybe twice in the past two weeks, so I'm not going to open it again. Plus, I think you guys would enjoy it better if I just sent you the whole thing sealed rather than opening it up. So there's that. This is all going back into the one cube. I really wish you would have got something besides that, man. Like, I really wish you would have got something better than that. Not a huge fan of uh, of this build, but down the road, I think, you know, it'll be... Uh, the value should go up, you know? The synergy will increase, all that good stuff. We'll find out. Lastly, we got Mr. Tony. Tony, pull something other than, what's it called? Anji. Is it Anji? Anye. Falcon Wrath. Anything other than that, Tony. Anything other than that. By the way, Tony, uh, reach out to me at M O S B E R G S W E R V E at gmail.com. And I will get you your cube. It should ship within two weeks. I know sh shipping delays are crazy. I understand. All right, you got Ixalan and Corset 2019. Oh, what's behind that door? We're going to find out. Let's find some juiciness, baby. Good luck, sir. Let's pull something good. Ooh, no tormenting voice. 
Hoo -hoo. Dodged a bullet there. Inferno Helion for the Uncommon. Bugler Boy. Lightning Strike. Bone Dragon. You got a Mythic. Uh, one of the less sought after ones, but still, Bone Dragon's a cool card. Dragon Skeleton. I think they could have done more with this card. I really do. It saw no standard play during its time. Trumpet Blast, Foil, Swampy, and a Knight. And a Knight. Is that a sign? We're going to find out. Can you get another Mythic? If you got two Mythics, you're probably going to get something juicy out of this cube. Let's see. Get Pounce. Plunder, sure. Seeker, Canopy. Got the Archer. And then we have the Waters. I like this card, though. I played with that many times. It's one we matches. Fleet Spy. Legion's Landing. Wow. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm glad to see this. There's not all junk inside of the packs. Maybe they didn't go through them. <laughs> I think Legion's Landing, what, five to ten bucks, something like that? It's one of those flipper ones with Adanto, the first fort on the back of it. Very, very cool card. Saw a heck ton of play in standard. Still sees play today. So not bad at all. Let's see what deck you're going to get, my friend. Oosh! Savine, the Chronoclasm. I think that's one of the more worthy decks. Not bad at all. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to Savine, the Chronoclasm. Whenever you cast your first instant or sorcery spell from your graveyard each turn, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. Half the time, it's uh, the three commander cards on top that de dictate the value, and then half the time in the decks, it's uh, what's inside, you know, uh, the supporting 99. So, there you go. Uh, I think you did good. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, by all means, take a moment, hit that like button. Um, if not, skadoosh yourself, and uh, be subscribed to the channel, because we're going to be dropping more and more videos. Content is back, baby. Appreciate you guys. And also, Memorial Day. I am very sad I missed Memorial Day. Um, so many fallen soldiers... Um, and uh, we we can we only have them to thank for their ultimate sacrifice, and that's the reason we're here. That's the reason we're here uh, today, right now in America, um, doing our thing and having our freedoms. So, hats off to all the uh, all the fallen soldiers out there. Much appreciated. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Joy Moss, Bad Boy MTG, Skadoosh.